in this video I'm going to teach you how to draw hair. The materials I used are in the descriptions below. Alright, let's get right into it. Step 1. Draw the general outline or shape of the hair. In this example, I'm going to start by drawing a vertical line. Then, I'm going to draw an upside down teardrop shape that's symmetrical about this line, as you can see. Note, you want to think of the hair more as a volume and less as a bunch of hair strands. That is, you don't want to draw every single strand. Step 2. Draw curves in the direction of the hair strands. This is useful because when shading the actual hair, these curves will be used as a guideline. The reason why these curves need to be in the direction of the hair is because when we shade the actual hair, all of our pencil strokes need to be in the direction of the hair. In other words, all of our pencil strokes will be in the direction of these curves. Note that these curves are called contour lines and they help define the shape and direction of an object, which is why they're very useful when drawing hair. Step 3. Draw the outline of the highlighted area. This is going to be very important when we start shading the hair. Step 4. Use the B pencil to start shading the midtones in the direction of the curves. As you approach the highlighted area, gradually remove the pencil off the paper. That is, you want to flick the pencil off the paper as you approach the highlights. Try to keep your pencil strokes as close together as possible in order to get a consistent shade. Also, try to keep your pencil sharp at all times when applying the shade. Next, grab the 3B pencil and shade the darker mid-tones again in the direction of the hair in the areas at the top and bottom of the hair. Step 5. Use the 6B pencil to shade the darkest areas of the hair, again in the direction of the hair, at the very top of the hair. Step 6. Draw random stray hairs at the bottom edge of the hair using the 3B pencil. This will make a difference because in reality, hair never has a perfect edge and always has a few random stray hairs going in different directions.
Step seven, blend everything with a brush to help smooth everything out. Remember to blend in the direction of the hair. Step eight, use the Tombow Mono Eraser to create the highlights in the highlighted area. Remember to apply the eraser in the direction of the hair. Step nine, use the B pencil to create some texture by just applying random pencil strokes in the direction of the hair. And remember to blend afterwards. I hope you all learnt from this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more drawing tutorials like this, please subscribe to my channel for more.